Hey you guys, what is up? Awesome the sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to another incredible test realm video. Today we're gonna be going over all the new spells that got audited in week two of spring test realm 2021. Now honestly, I would say that these uh, affect PvE, but they, they really, really don't. This is like another really PvP-centric spell audit, and it's really exciting because it might seem like only one or two spells got changed, but the ones that did get changed could really, really change how we play PvP. I thought I would make this video just to show you guys the actual audits, but also talk about how it's going to make a school better or worse at PvP. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first really big thing, I absolutely had to start the video with this. They finally made Supernova but not busted beyond belief. Supernova used to do 535 damage, and now it does 405. And now, let's be honest, right? This, this spell is a little bit weird, right? It doesn't really follow the same rules as, let's say, Scorpion, which is also a two-pip spell. It does double the damage because not only does it have very low accuracy, you literally need your opponent to cast an aura for it to be useful. I would argue that if, if Supernova stays like this, especially with people using damage auras less, because I think the cast rate just went down, we're going to see Balance Wizards really take a pretty big hit with this if they were really relying on this card to win. Especially with the actual damage limit. Even like, let's say I have 148 damage in Test Realm, right? Even if I were to use uh, the new Supernova with this much damage in Test Realm, it would do less than if I had 130 damage like I usually do with a fully enchanted one in Live Realm. So, like, it, no matter how you look at it, damage output with this spell is gonna get a lot lower. Other things of notable importance, the Elemental and Spirit Spears also got changed. So, basically, like, you know, they, they, they standardized all the buffs, and now these are also like this. Again, I'm not really sure how useful they are going to be in PvP. I do think they are going to be more useful than they have been, but maybe, I don't know, if you're running like a Hydra strat, if you're running a Chimera strat, maybe these are good. The only other notable change is that Elemental Trap and Spirit Trap are different now, so Elemental Trap is just a little bit better. I don't know if there's a reason why only Elemental Trap got changed. I would honestly argue that it makes a little bit more sense from my perspective why Spirit Trap should be a little bit weaker. Mainly because Myth has Shatter, for example. And if Life uses Pierce on Spirit Shields, they can also use a lot of trap stacking strats well. So maybe just to make it so that schools that are naturally good at breaking shields uh, don't have too powerful of a trap, maybe that's the reasoning behind this. I honestly think they should have kept it the same, but that's just me personally. Uh, if they're gonna keep every buff the same, why not keep these the same, right? But yeah, overall, I could see certain strats with Elemental Spear, Elemental Trap, and maybe Nested Fury, because Nested Fury does do a lot. It, it, it's quite a powerful hit. Like, if you look at the Storm hit, it does a thousand damage. But other than that, really what we're looking at is Balance being a little less effective at really controlling the match by using supernovas so much. Let's move on to the next school. This is a really exciting change in my opinion, and it's actually an ice change, which I'm normally not excited about ice changes, but I think this one makes a lot of sense to me. So Steel Ward, including Steel Ward TCs, by the way, which you can get, they're now one pip. So that means that if, like, on a balance, you could actually use this, which is, like, th that's already insane. Like, if someone towers against you and you use this, yes, you lose a pip, but you're gaining a shield, and that's the only way to tower against them. So this is a really big change for balance. But also now, Ice can Steel Ward and Pip can serve off of it, which might actually make tower shielding, especially against an Ice, a very bad move. And I think this is a really clever way of making an Ice spell less usable on other schools, right? Like, you would want an ice wizard to use an ice spell better than other schools. So, I can actually see a lot of people using this, because it's a very, very cheap way to gain tempo, and since ice actually runs pip conserve for ice, right, They're, they have gear that does it, this is also going to be naturally a better card for them to have than any other school. This is going to put ice on the map again. I really believe that, and also, it's going to raise the question of whether running pip conserve is the idea that's best, or running a deck that doesn't get pip conserve Right, like this this is the best deck for Pipkin serve, right? But if you run a if you run a deck like this, you have limited copies and you can't put as many bubbles as you might want to. So there's gonna have to be questions asked about whether bubbles are more important or, or whether steel wards are more important. And there's probably gonna be a lot of setups that balance the two, choose one over the other. There's there should be more choices when it comes to ice PvP. They also, for team PvPers, they got an upgraded Legion shield, which this used to do 30%, and now it's a 45 shield. Now, in regular PvP, there's obviously no point in doing this. I, uh, despite what the image looks like, it's one shield for every teammate. But I, 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 I can see maybe with minions, 
Uh, I don't know, maybe you could use this. I really doubt that there's that many situations where this is that good. But in team PvP, this could be a very good spell. And finally, like every school that has one, uh, Mass Prism is one pip. This is a good quality of life type change. I don't think two pips made any goddamn sense anyway. So yeah, this is something that's constant to every school, except obviously balance, because they don't have it. In fact, some schools like Myth, this is the only change that they saw during this audit. So I'm not actually going to cover Mass Prisms, just know that all of them are now one pip. So if you're a Myth Wizard watching this, that's also the only change you can ex expect just for this week, I guess. But yeah, overall, the big, big change is definitely Steel Ward, in my opinion. This is going to be massive in PvP. And it also introduces this as a decent utility for other schools for certain strategies. I could see Fire Wizards that trap stack using this as well. Speaking of Fire Wizards, let's look at what changes they got. So along with the Mass Prism, they got one of the craziest changes that I've ever seen. Look at this, bro. I'm really confused on this one. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not just confused, but I'm, I'm a little conflicted. Here's the thing, right? Beetles, as we once knew them, are no longer in PvP. So if you were, like, if, if you're gonna use a hidden trap, it's only this. There's no fire beetle anymore. So trap stacking already took a massive hit. The only real good way to hit and buff is either with brimstoning, which doesn't leave three fuel, three traps, right? It only leaves one trap. And slightly better, uh, you can you can cast a Hephaestus, right? Because you can hit and bubble. That's a little bit better because it's harder to just shield and negate the effects of your buff, like in the case of brimstone. So I guess you could say the traps that got nerfed a little bit. So a fuel doing five percent more, it's not the worst. That being said, if you run a very small deck with fuel and you run potent traps, this could be pretty. It, it could be pretty good. This is also also gonna make Scion much much better because literally I I really doubt that you don't kill if you have a potent trap and a regular fuel I I especially since you can't set for fire with 80 something resist I I, I don't see I, I don't see how this actually hurts fire in any way besides the mass prism another notable change and you know this is kind of nice uh the steel charm is now 100% accuracy I honestly think that this affects other schools more than it affects fire i feel like other people might put steel charm tcs now in their side deck right it's maybe this is a little bit better because now you're guaranteed to get it and if anything was holding people back it was probably the accuracy on it i don't really see why anyone would do this unless maybe there's storm so maybe you could have like you know a blade removal for a scion combo maybe we could see this i really doubt it but it could be interesting there are there's a chance that it could be interesting i will say this with elemental traps doing 30 and fuels doing 30 and also regular fire traps doing 30 there could be some really cool trap stacking strats that we haven't seen yet that do a lot more than they used to so there is a chance that fire got a decent buff out of this let's move on to storm this has got to be my favorite change out of all of them so uh, they got the mass prism but the thing that i'm really excited about is disarm is now zero pip so that means that if someone single blades and you disarm, you literally just gain a round on them. And the reason that gaining of a round is so nice is because you have Scion, right? If you can remove a single blade, then Scion is a lot, lot better. This is basically a good way to combo with Scion without using pips, and it's really gonna help. It's very, very similar to just wand hitting a set shield off, or beetling when someone has a shield, or maybe elfing when you have a bubble. It's a way to advance your game without, without, without using too many resources, without using too many pips. I hope they did update this otherwise i'm talking out my ass but water elemental also uses disarm so if it uses a zero pit version that means water elemental just got a little bit better too so maybe aquafina might get a little bit more love in test realm who knows we'll see let's move on to i guess life right i mean myth doesn't have anything they just have the mass prism so let's move on to life it's interesting for life so besides the mass prism being one pip brilliant light is also one pip which is interesting because now if you want to do a healing strat with guiding light and you want to stack up heals you could actually do a brilliant light and pip conserve on it so much like many of the spells we've seen today this is another utility that makes sense to run if you have pip conserve and it's another reason that if you give up deck copies to run a deck that gives pip conserve there might be a reward for it so that's always a good thing but here's where it gets really interesting mass triage is two pips and regular triage is one pip now, the thing that I don't like about this change is that if you go to your triage TCs, there's still zero pips. So, 
Honestly, I would hope that I, I, I really, really doubt it stays zero pips because it would make no sense for life to be the school that got penalized for having it. But I'm hoping that that means that the triage TC will become at least one pip, if not two. A lot of people have problems with triage and I kind of understand it. It's just a universally good thing to have and it's good no matter how many pips you put into the overtime, right? A skeletal dragon will be triaged just as easily by the zero pip spell as a poison. So a lot of people do have issues with this. I And, and the fact that life is the worse at using it because you're just going to put it in your main deck and probably deck fail trying to get it instead of wasting side deck space for it. The fact that it's so much better for other schools, I'm surprised that they didn't change it, especially because it seems like they did audit other TCs this time around. I, I, I assume we can expect it. I think a two pip TC triage would be pretty dope because it would make overtimes not a completely awful move and it would make it so you can't always triage but at least one pip i think even one pip would be great so yeah it looks like there's a very utility centric uh buff for life i don't really know how this mass triage change is going to affect pvp but i will say that having a life on your team just became even better because you can literally as long as you have good pip chance you can technically always mass triage and finally Besides the mass prism change, death only got one change, which is that their empower now is 250 death damage for three pips. This isn't really a big change uh, for honestly anybody. Uh, what, what's very notable is that they did not change the school of it, which I find a little strange. Here's the thing, if they did change it to moon damage, I would assume that they would have to do what they did with sacrifice and dark pact anyways, which is make it a no school, like, you know, as in like no PvP type spell, and then faint stacking would get out of control. So my, my theory is that they didn't change it to moon damage for that. I don't see why it shouldn't be moon damage and still have a TC version that's available to everyone. I do really believe that a self damage hit should be available just so that people don't just faint five times and win, right? The only good counter to faint spamming at the moment is a self damage hit. So maybe that's why the empower change is a little weird, but it's a very, it's a very underwhelming change for death wizards in general. So yeah, some schools definitely got the better end of the stick. I would say that last week it seemed like the spirit schools and balance got the best spells. And this time it seems like the elemental schools took a huge up with some of their utilities like some of their utilities are on another level now i will be doing some test from pvp trying out all these new changes so i'm very excited about that so turn on notifications so you can catch the stream right here on youtube let me know what you guys think of all the changes what do you do, do you guys think there are other spells that you really expected to see audited that didn't or what do you think about the new versions of the spells as always drop a like if you enjoyed leave a sub if you're new there's tons of links in the description including my twitch my twitter my discord my instagram and of course my patreon if somebody has not told you awesome today they're doing something wrong so stay awesome Awesome. And yeah, y'all. Yeah.